Hi right, guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well. So in the last video, I managed to get my 10 pound panel that I got from the car boot cell. I've got it programmed now. I wiped the PLC, programmed it, and I'm now, I'm now able to control all of my inputs and outputs, which is incredible. What I'd like to do next is at the moment, if you watch these contactors here, you can see I do have them being controlled. So you can see that one firing in, you can see that firing in. So that's firing my uh, push buttons. So now I'd like to drive something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take apart this 240 volt plug. I don't actually have a use yet for this panel. So if you do have any ideas, let me know. But I'm gonna take apart this 240 volt plug, wire it into this contact, and then I should be able to just switch on on these LED lights via the PLC, via the contactor. So that's the plan. So first things first, I've got to figure out how uh, these contactors work. All right, so here's what I'm struggling with now. So I've, I've got this off of a real pause video. And so the, they mentioned that A1 and A2, which I have here, A1 and A2, that that's the 24 volts. But, you know, obviously mine, my contactors work when I press them. And there is no wire on A1. Nothing wired into it. And so if I go into my meter, on my meter now I'm on voltage, what, DC here? So I've got nothing across there. But when I press the contactor in, you can see that I've got 23.7 volts. So I'm getting 24 volts across this contactor. I can see this little plastic thing that goes along. I'm guessing that's like a bus, maybe perhaps like a bus bar. I don't, I don't know really. The only wires I've got coming in, so there, if I, if I go for zero volts, so that's in my zero, and then I check the voltage. So on this pin here, I've got nothing. This pin here, nothing. This pin here, nothing. This pin here, nothing. So I'm super lost at this point and I don't, I don't really know how to, what to do to be honest. So stuff is not making sense to me. This is this is not wired as this says it is, or this, as this says it should be. So I've got my 240 coming in here and going into this contactor. And then I've got three wires coming out of the contactor going to terminals one, two, and three. So if I wanted to do my LED things, so I've, I've taken off the, the plug. Right, so my LED, if I wanted to do that, I would put that, I put that up through this gland, and then I'd wire it in to the, into terminal one and two, I guess. I'm gonna take off these wires, I think, these 24 volts and whatnot, and I'm gonna wire it how I think it should be wired according to uh, this real pass video, which this makes sense to me. All right, so I've put 24 volts onto the A1 contacts of the contactor, and then zero volts onto the A2. So now, no, 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 okay, no, I haven't, no. So what I've done is I've put the black, so onto the 24 part of the coil, and then I've got that going to, so from there, go into Q1, and then Q2, go into there. So when I've turned on Q1 or Q2, then should turn on the contactor, and that should work as I expect it to work. So if I press button one, okay, so that still works. Button two, yep. So both the contacts are still working. At least now I understand that wiring. I get I get that wiring of the contactor. What I'd like to do is let's actually now wire in uh, my 240 LED lights. Let's wire them in and then let's turn on the contacts and see what happens. Are you ready, gang? So wired it in now into the terminals. Uh, but now if I press the button, wrong, contact, wrong contactor, boom. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's very good. I love that. So, but it's very good to know that now I can actually, so you can see there, it's very good to know that now I can actually power some 240 stuff using the contactor. So that's how I expected the contactor to be wired. And the fact that it's not wired, or it wasn't wired, that that was wired some, some other way, was just super confusing to me. But I can now say that I understand contactors and how to wire them which I'm very very happy about so now I'm really confused I've got this contactor here the normal closed contact wired so from the normal closed into input 6 on my PLC so when I press it yeah I'd expect input 6 to turn on nothing right so just input 2 not input 6 when I press the other one input 6 turns on you what mate nothing was wired to that I don't know, perhaps this is one contactor, you know, I've just been assuming that it's two contactors, I mean it's got 
two Siemens logos on it. It's got two, you know, part numbers. I'd assume they're two contactors, but it's almost like they're linked together as one. But why would they not come on with that one? So, anyways, I'll take the 24 volts out of here. I'll take this input 6 wire out of here, put it on top and see if that works. No, nope, unfortunately, no difference. So when I turn on the proper contactor, the other one, so this one, nothing, input 6 doesn't turn on. This one, it does. I don't, I don't get it at all. It's, it's opposite. Yeah, so I don't get it. I mean, it's wired opposite. You fire in that contactor, and then this one's got 24 volts on it. And then this one that you'd expect to have 24 volts has nothing. I don't understand that. So the feedback, for whatever reason, works opposite. I won't, I'm not going to rattle my brain with it too much. <laughs> I'm just happy that I can get that working. And for whatever silly reason, I can get the feedback working, just have to wire it opposite. I don't exactly know what's, what's again going on with these two contactors. Perhaps when I actually make the panel into something useful, I might take these two apart because I'm not sure if they're linked together. You've got all this plastic along the bottom, which makes it look like it's one piece. Oh, and actually there is some symbol. See that symbol there, right underneath the yellow? That, to me, looks like they're linked. I won't explore it now because... Video's getting too long, so yeah. Alright, cool guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad that I got contacts working. And yeah, I mean, hopefully now the next video, I'm confident now that I've got everything working in here. It's, what can I do with it now? Can I make something useful? Hmm, I got no idea, honestly. You know, what, what can I make where it's got a buzzer, you've got a switch, two lights, two buttons, you know, the potential to drive something with 240 volts. Yeah, no clue. If you know or have any ideas, let me know. Uh, I'd like to do something potentially in the garden. That might be a good thing to do. Yeah, cool. All right, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.